Welcome back Halo followers, today we got a lot of Halo news to go over. 3 for 3 Industries has finally replied to us, kind of breaking the silence and kind of addressing like the promotions, what is going on with development, what exactly is, uh, when are we getting these updates actually, they've given us a date for a community update as well as um, a, that other high level update that we heard about a couple days ago. A little bit more information about that. But before we jump into it guys, be sure to smash that like button so hard it turns blue, as well as hit that subscribe button. Join me on the journey of following Halo for over nine years. All right, so jumping right into the update, this is on Halo Waypoint. There is uh, firstly new Halo Infinite apparel. Nothing too groundbreaking here, especially nothing like involving the game or anything. So there's an Oni training jacket for $100 as well as a uh, long sleeve tee for, you know, this for men and women. There's also some shooting, you know, some of the audio things, uh, recordings for Halo Infinite that I haven't really talked about because it's not really like that juicy of content in my opinion but yeah there it is if you want to see it um and also red shift all right so red shift they say that this skin is now available at gamestop i think it has been uh, since november 10th or 12th or whatever but if you buy anything relating to halo or at Spox at gamestop you can um get that skin for halo infinite and i don't really have much to say about this because it's it's the armor coding so that I've kind of beat that subject to uh, to death at this point. Until we get some new information, I'll probably stop talking about the armor coatings, but there it is if you're if you're wanting it. Moving on to Halo Infinite, all right? So they explain what is going on, and this is pretty good pretty good stuff, all right? So like a big problem that I've been having with 343 is is how silent they've been. And one thing I've said like the very least they could do is say, "Hey, look, you know, it, it, you know, acknowledge you know, we're acknowledging our, our quietness, you know, just calm down, we're getting everything ready, yada yada. And they, they really should have been posting that, like, a lot. But this is sort of what that is, but uh, quite a bit more, really. But um, let me go ahead and read it. Over the past few months, and because of the delay, you've learned a lot about Halo Infinite from various retail and partner programs. We see that you, our community, have so many questions and are hungry for more information. We know, we hear you, we understand. We want nothing more than to answer your questions. We can't wait to go deep into detail about the rich story and characters in the Halo Infinite campaign. To dive exactly how customization and progression works and shows up visually in the multiplayer experience and provide a detailed look at the incredible depth of content across the entire game. But to do it right and do the game and the talented team crafting it justice, we need to show rather than to tell. Of course, this begs the question, when are you going to show all that? And the best we can say right now is when it's ready. <laughs> I hate when it's ready so much. All right, so that's not the same as when it's done, but it's still not yet. When we get close, we'll be sure to let you know ahead of time. Your questions will eventually be answered. So, again, this is sort of what I've been talking about, what 343 honestly should have posted a couple weeks ago, but I'm happy that they're still posting it right now, that they're talking about Halo Infinite, and they're, they're kind of, um, you know, saying, hey, look, you know, we got a lot of content in this game, we got um, a lot of things to, you know, look forward to as a team to show you guys and, and things like that. And yeah, and when it's ready, I, I hate, or when it's, <laughs> when it's ready, it's so annoying, man. Okay, they go on to say, we have incredible partners doing fantastic work across a multitude of products and channels. There are even more on the horizon. Our marketing and promotions uh, teams have been working for over a year in most cases to ensure Halo Infinite is everywhere possible this holiday to support the game in the Xbox Series X launch. So when the game is shifted out of 2020, the million moving parts across Halo gear, brand partnerships, marketing, Xbox, legal, retail, and community had to take stock and recalibrate and readjust. This is what I've been talking about for quite a long time, you know, like... The amount of paperwork, probably, that's why, probably why they didn't cancel Oreos. For example, like, Sean showed me the other day that uh, the Oreos all expire with the Halo Infinite promotions, like, March. 
So I don't know if all of them expire, but they probably already made the cookies. You know, they probably already made a lot of these promotions and it would probably cost potentially millions of dollars to cancel the Halo Infinite promotion for some deal. So they probably canceled what they could. And for example, you know, things maybe like with GameStop or Oreo were just too much money and too much of a hassle to cancel. So I, I wonder what they canceled. And this is kind of off topic real quick, but uh, some people were talking to me recently. Uh, I think it was Jerry Sunder, but about how they maybe took stuff out of Halo Shadows of Reach because they knew that the, the book was going to release right now instead of, you know, right before launch, which has been pushed back to, um, well, to 2021. So, yeah, it's uh, very interesting as, as to what promotions they've decided to let go and not go, and I wonder what they had in store for us um, because, honestly, I feel like there would be more promotions right now. There are still a lot, but they go on to say... That doesn't mean hitting the brakes on these uh, programs, however, especially when we can still support them with things like banking rewards for launch. We are deeply grateful to all of our partners and their willingness to support our game and the existing campaign showcasing the Master Chief and our content in exciting ways despite the game's delay. And for that, we want to say thank you to all of our partners for pushing through the challenges and express our gratitude to our community for of uh, uh, fans for understanding the position we're in during this hectic time. You know, um, you know the thing that's causing all this chaos, right? Three for three is having to work at home. That probably won't change before launch potentially. And if they release the game in holiday 2021, who knows if they're going to be, you know, uh, fully b back working at the studio and, and can fully like, you know, it's, it's a really sticky situation for sure. Like it's a really messy situation. And Unishek actually directly talks about this and explains what is going on. So there's two massive updates. All right. Two updates. All right. And I'm going to explain that in a second, but let's finish off what is on Waypoint here. They say, we know you're all very eager to know what's going on with Infinite and due to the myriad of circumstances and the wake of our date change, we've been quiet longer than we like. So that's all That's all I really wanted to hear for like a long time, you know, like just acknowledge how quiet you're being, you know, and, and it's weird that, you know, Sean's tweet was uh, pushed up on Reddit, almost the 15th, 16th biggest post ever right under the actual campaign reveal of Halo itself. And they said nothing, you know, about the armor coatings and, um, you know, it's, it's, I feel like they already knew, they should have known that this was going to happen, right? Because they're, they're basically confirming microtransactions, $5 per skin with these microtransactions, and they should have already had something, you know, written up, right? I mean, I'm talking about before the July reveal, you know, they knew this stuff was going to come out, right? Or at least the second they decided to cancel the game, they should have wrote up something like, hey, look, we're going to answer questions later. We know you're concerned. Something or really anything would have been great. But um, I'm glad that they're at least kind of acknowledging that they've been quieting. They've been very quiet right now and uh, more quiet than they like, and I wonder why. Um, they say right here, we're working with the team to provide an end-of-the-year update and establish plans to be much more communication, uh, co sorry, communicative in the coming months. And also, since I'll be out of town for Thanksgiving and a small socially distanced wedding, congratulations, bro. Our next community update will be the end-of-the-year community update on December 17th. As hectic and crazy as 2020 has been, I think we'll be ending the year on a pretty strong note. So that's what I like to hear, all right? Um, first, uh, when I first read this, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there going to be a Halo trailer on December 17th? And that's it's probably taking a leap, right? Especially with how quiet 343 has been and the times that they've repeatedly said, look, we're trying to figure out marketing and things will be ready when they're ready. They, I, I think, do not want another blunder like the July reveal. And I don't think it was a complete disaster. I just think it was really underwhelming, you know, and, and whereas it should have been really overwhelming, you know, and, and really awesome. <laughs> but the fact is, is I think that they are being very careful as to revealing this game, especially with the armor coatings. They revealed it a little bit and it blew up in their faces. So maybe we just kind of seem into the content drought by reacting, I think, the way we reacted, but I, I don't even blame myself or anyone else in the Halo community. I mean, it makes sense. It's microtransactions is a very touchy subject, and moving forward, that could most likely be integrated pretty much with the, the multiplayer, and how is campaign going to function with microtransactions and things like that? That's uh, probably p potentially why they're they're planning so much. So, let me explain here. John, um, this is actually, uh, Unishek is actually a community manager, if you didn't know, at 343. 
He says, our high-level infinite update will be separate from the end-of-the-year community update on December 17th. That community update will focus more on reviewing the year across the franchise. As you probably guessed, you can expect more infinite info in the infinite-specific update than that final community update. So, basically, what he just said here, what he just confirmed... You know, aside from the waypoint post, he added upon what we know here. He said there are basically two big updates, right? One is on December 17th, and that is the recap update. So he talks about it being a, uh, a review across the year, uh, you know, across the franchise. So that'll probably be talking about all the toys, you know, all the news, and maybe even talking a little bit about, like, the community reaction, how perhaps 343 three, uh, was like, crap, you know, this was a blunder, we need to improve, we need to make sure that the lighting looks good, so very light details, I imagine. And then he basically confirmed that there is another update after that, which we just heard the other day by Sketch, you know, another 343 three community manager confirming on Reddit that there is a high-level update that will happen after the holidays. So two updates, the first one, December 17th, Pretty light on details, basically a recap as I see it. And then another one that I think, because they say after the holidays and talking about rebooting the hype train basically, that will probably happen potentially on January 1st or in the first or second week of January. Honestly, I, f I feel like I, I might be reaching there. Maybe it might be February or March. All we know is it's going to be after the holidays. So, you know, if this game actually does release in March, you know, April, May, you know, spring 2021, then I, I'd say, yeah, expect a trailer in January because that, that is the latest. You know, they had a four-month marketing plan already, right, with Halo Infinite for 2020. They were going to market the game, show off gameplay in July, as they did, and then it got delayed, but they had all these promotions with multiplayer planned, so most likely they were going to reveal multiplayer as they as they even teased at the end of July at the end of August, there was going to be like a multiplayer reveal, most likely. So really, multiplayer had a three-month three marketing plan before release. So if this game releases in spring, then expect news very, very soon in the next two months, like juicy gameplay screenshots, uh, you know, trailers, whatever. But I I've been saying this for a long time, and I I'm starting to become more and more convinced that uh, I I've been right here as I've sort of lean towards the spring 2021 release prediction. I'm like, okay, maybe that has some, you know, can hold some water there. And and now I'm leaning back. I'm like, all right, Phil Spencer's talking about how it might be better for the Xbox Series X to uh, have a Halo Infinite launch next year, you know, when, when both the PS5 and Xbox Series X can catch up on orders and everyone that wants them can get them. That might be a better time to actually market the game. And um, anyways, guys, what do you think we'll be getting on December 17th? What do you think we'll be getting on this high level update? You know, um, some people were talking to me in the comment section that was saying, uh, don't make the mistake of thinking high level means a lot of detail. High level skips a lot of details, but gives a broad overview of the project, focusing on goals, plans and outcomes. I'm not quite sure how he might know that but i think that's just speculation obviously but yeah there's there's a chance that they're just talking about this high level update isn't gameplay or screenshots or news about anything that we actually want it could easily just be uh you know this is what we got planned for 2021 this is when we're probably going to release the game you know and things like that so but i feel like you know with three for three's track record unless they say we are getting a bunch of screenshots and a bunch of trailers and you know um, in, in this kind of situation then I want to really expect that it's very possible because high level update is, is just a phrase that I've not heard before regarding Halo Infinite so I'm curious as to what 343 sees as a high level update you know I would I would say that with everything we got you know E3 or this year this year's July reveal was a high level update so they talk about rebooting it. Sketch talked about rebooting the hype train. So maybe they show off the campaign again. Maybe it's redone, like the rumors have been saying. Although those turn out to be fake as, as nothing was revealed on November 8th, 9th, and 10th. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. And be sure to, if you haven't already, subscribe. Join me on the journey uh, following Halo for over nine years, heading on to 10. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one soon. All right, you take care. Peace.